In this video, Melissa Britton, CEO of Adjuster Pro, explains the best strategy for getting your state licenses, including which license to get for your DHS, and if your state licenses adjusters, which state to get second after your home state license. Does that make any sense? You're watching the Property IA Show. This video is sponsored by Kaplik. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. Get the free guide at cplic.net slash adjuster TV and by the IA firm CCMS and Associates. To apply to this fast growing and innovative firm, email your resume and a compelling cover letter to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV. And for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Subscribing is one of the biggest things you can do to help Adjuster TV. Okay, licensing. It's one of those things. It's a bit of a pain, but it can also seriously separate you from the rest of the crowd if you do it right. And honestly, it's hard to argue that by studying for your licensing exams, you're going to learn a lot about insurance and how it works. Kind of important for us as insurance adjusters. Coming up, I'll go over the first five licenses you need to get as a property claims adjuster if you're doing CAT. But first, did you know that as insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance? We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can and will happen. What are you gonna do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. Let me tell you about my friends over at CPLIC, or Kaplik for short. Kaplik is an insurance company for ind independent adjusters formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need, head on over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. So an adjuster needs to get their home state license first if your state licenses adjusters. If your state doesn't license adjusters, then you would need to get what's called a designated home state license. That license is going to act like your, your resident adjuster license, but just you're from a state that doesn't license adjusters. Reciprocity is a great example of something that brings people to our site. It's so hard to know the rules about each individual state to the point where we've created this big reciprocity map that's, that's on our site. You can go there, you can click on your state, and it's gonna show you exactly which states are reciprocal with your state. Sometimes that you won't need to take any additional courses, but just knowing, okay, I can go and get these ones right off the bat is really helpful. There are a few states that don't have any reciprocity. So just to name those, get those out of the way, New York, California, Hawaii, they are not reciprocal with other states, so you are gonna to have to go and actually take their exam in order to get their, your license there, whether, whether you have your home state license or not. You could have 20 licenses and still need to go take those exams. New York is a great example of a license that has become something that's really valuable. And the reason it's valuable isn't because necessarily there are a lot more claims in New York, but there are a lot fewer claims adjusters in New York because that license is difficult to get. You have to go take the state exam. The state exam is difficult. And so a lot of people just say, unless they absolutely need to have a New York license, they just don't, they just don't bother with it. And so New York has become what we've called in the past, the golden ticket of licenses. We, we have our New York exam prep course that we spend a lot of time just making sure that it's up to date and, and is getting the job done. We'll, we, we evaluate it regularly. We, we request feedback on that exam a ton from our, from our clients, from our uh, independent clients, from our carrier clients, so that we can just put any feedback that we get right into that course and make sure that it's doing the job to get people through that exam on the first try. We've had a lot of really good success with our New York course. In a similar fashion as to how we provide licensing and compliance training, we also really work to make sure that people know exactly what they need to do to, act, to get their license. So you can go on any state page on our website. It'll walk you through the process of each individual state. Some of those states are, hey, if you're 18 and you have a heartbeat, you're good to go. Go get, go get your application done and you're good. Other states, you may be required to give any combination of certificates of completion, fingerprinting, bonds, police forms. Um, there, there are just many things that kind of comprise these applications and each state has their own rules and regulations on what's, what's involved there. Because each state has their own requirements, what we recommend pretty much across the board is if you can get an all lines license with an exam, get your fingerprints done, you're gonna be in the best position possible to go and get as many reciprocal licenses as possible. 
So it might be that your home state doesn't require an exam or your home state doesn't require fingerprinting. Most of the time, we would encourage someone for their second state to choose a state that does require an exam, get an exam under your belt, choose a state that does require fingerprinting, so you have your fingerprinting under your belt, and then you can move forward and get the reciprocal licenses by having your home state license, having an exam complete, and having your fingerprinting done. So eventually, you're gonna to want to get as many licenses as you can. If you do daily, locally, you may only need to get your home state, and maybe a couple of neighboring state licenses. If you do any remote desk adjusting, you're probably gonna need to get all of them because you may be handling claims from all over the country. But for CAT, you'll be primarily working in the Midwest in a box that goes from Colorado to Ohio and from Canada to Mexico. Yes, hurricanes hit the Gulf and cause massive damage. Wildfires burn up California and the Western states. But to get started right now and be instantly deployable for the most common storm types, which are gonna be wind and hail, you'll need to be licensed in the heart of the country first. So you've gotta get your home state license first if your state licenses adjusters. That's the one that you have to get first. You can't live in Minnesota, which licenses adjusters, and get your Texas license first. They're not gonna let you. If your state does not license adjusters, and there are quite a few states that don't, including Colorado and Illinois, believe it or not, then you'll want to get your designated home state license or your DHS license. After you get your home state or DHS license, then you go after these. Texas, Oklahoma, Indiana, Minnesota, New York. The first four of those licenses will cover you for most of the Midwest, and New York will make you very desirable to IA firms because it's kind of a challenging license to get, and not many adjusters have it which is kind of weird since New York is one of the most populous states in the US. As far as your DHS goes, right now Florida is the state to go to get your DHS. Adjuster Pro CEO Melissa Britton will explain why in a moment, but first, are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about my friends at CCMS and Associates. Adjusters at CCMS call it a big mom and pops firm because in spite of their fast growth, they still keep that family business feeling. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to become a part of the family, email your resume and cover letter directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Here's Melissa to explain the best strategy for getting your DHS and why Florida is your best bet for your DHS or second license after your home state. Currently there are 16 states that don't license adjusters, or at least independent adjusters. And um, so, like I said, we would recommend a DHS license for them. There are lots of options for a designated home state license. The things that we want, would, we would say to people that you should take into consideration when you're looking for a good DHS is, does it have pre-licensing? Do you take an exam? Does it require fingerprinting? And what's the speed you're gonna get your license back? Um, Weighing all of that, what we recommend is Florida. There are a couple states that you might get your license back a week earlier than Florida, but Florida checks all the boxes. So you can take a pre-licensing course with exam, so you don't have to go and sit for a state exam. You, it requires fingerprinting, um, but fingerprinting is fairly easy to attain in Florida. It, because it has the exam component checked off, that's, that's big for reciprocity. And then it usually is about a week to two week turnaround time. So you can take your course, maybe that takes a couple of weeks, you finish your exam, you get your fingerprinting, and within two more weeks you have your license, which is pretty amazing to be able to start to finish one month and you're, you're ready to handle claims. In Florida, you will need to be appointed. So if you work for a carrier, they're going to handle your appointment. But if you don't work for a carrier and independent, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you self-appoint. You can do it online. Um, it, we walk you through on our website kind of the process to do that, but it's just one more step that you're gonna to need to make sure you do before you go to work as a, as a claims adjuster in Florida. To get licensed, visit adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro now, go. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself, Chris Stanley, and Guy Grand from Veteran Adjusting School and others will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who will let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at adjustertvplus.com. Adjuster TV is the premier video resource for the independent adjusting community, and we are committed to bringing you the best, most up-to-date, and entertaining programming to help you learn what adjusting is all about, if it's right for you, and how to build a rewarding career as a claims professional. A career where you can help people in their time of crisis and earn a great living. For much more information about becoming a successful, 
Property or Auto Claims IA, including many more videos, free tutorials and webinars, the best gear and software for claims, and industry news and IA weather reports, head on over to AdjusterTV.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.